hello everyone welcome back to the channel welcome back to another episode of 3 video in this one i'm trying shadow of the tomb raider uh, which is the last game of this uh, tomb raider trilogy uh, so right now i have not installed the mod and i am playing on wait, uh, first i kill this guy then i'll show you my settings So right now I'm on 1080p and the graphics is set on ultra which could be set it like the ray tracing is even on ultra ray tracing shadow and everything is on high or ultra which could be set to and this uh, screen options are also turned on uh, I'll just turn everything to ultra and high uh, so yeah with maxed out setting on 1080p I'm getting around I'm getting around 50 uh, but there was not much a texture so that's why it's boosted to 100 so there as we can see uh, it's like 60 and uh, 60 and 50 uh, higher 50s and lower 60s and sometimes getting to 70 uh, so this is the native FPS without the mod so let's begin the mod shall we first I'm gonna quit the game and also this uh, game is the steam version one so the msi afterburner uh, was not working with this game uh, with the mod installed uh, right now i have not installed the mod so that's why msi is here but when i install the mod i will disable this msi afterburner also uh, some people are facing crashing issue uh, on a startup i will show you too i will show that too like how to fix that so first i'm gonna quit the msi afterburner because if i forget then the game will not work mod will not work and look at this effect uh, okay so let's begin the mod uh, first download this zip from the link in the description below mm, then extract it to the desktop open the folder copy everything inside it then go to your shadow of the Tomb Raider installation directory you can see all of my drives are full I'm testing pretty much uh, new games every day uh, so hit a like and subscribe for that uh, after that um, epic games uh, if you are on the epic game version if you are on cracked i don't know uh, where you have installed so epic games head of the tomb raider and in the main folder you need to paste everything here where the sottr.exe is located okay so paste everything here uh, now you can close this folder now for the epic games user uh, you need to edit two files to make the game work uh, or else it will crash uh, to do that uh, just uh, copy this uh, address from the description and after that open my computer this pc then go to the address bar then right click and click paste and hit enter you will directly launched into the folder uh, this is for those who installed the epic games in the c directory if you are installed epic games on the different folder then uh, you can just browse like this path epic games launcher portal extra overlay after that you need to edit this two text like uh, if you don't have the dot exe showing what you can do is click on view uh, like if you if you if your uh, system is showing like this you can't see the dot uh, exe you need to go to view after that click on file extension uh file name extension ticket and you can see the dot exe now we need to rename uh, these two files uh, so click on rename go to the end of the line remove the dot and exe then uh, click outside click yes select again the second file then click on rename go to the end of the line remove the exe and dot click outside and click on yes so this is the crash fixing issue now we're gonna launch the game you can launch the game from anywhere like uh, epic or your installation folder directly so i'm gonna launch it from the epic mm. so you guys can skip 10 to 20 seconds at this point maybe Jonah, Trinity just tried to kill a local archaeologist. Okay, so uh, we're back in the game, but we're not getting that piece we should get. So we need to go to 
option then go to display graphics and enable the dlss on quality uh, if you are not on rtx card i will show you another way uh, if you don't have an rtx card i will show you another way so on dlss the frame rate is boosting but you can see that uh, it has a little bit the hood flickering issue so what you need to do if you are not on the rtx card and if you are using an intel or amd card you need to go to display graphics uh, so by default nvidia uh, dlss will be turned off for you uh, you need to just set the anti-aliasing to smaa and come back to the game and there uh, you can see the frame rate is uh, a little bit lower than the dlss because so dlss uses a little uh, low resolution image and then upscale it so that's why you are getting a little bit uh, low fps than the dlss quality like in dlss it was around 120 and it's now around 112 maybe 5 to 10 fps lower but the hood glitch is totally fixed as you can see there is no hood glitching at all so yeah uh, you can use the dlss and have the hood glitch and high fps or you can use uh, SMA and you can enjoy the hood glitch free experience but the fps will be a little bit lower so yeah guys, uh, this will be it, um, if this helps you, leave a like, uh, subscribe to the channel and if you face any kind of issue, um, comment down below, All, um, already I have told you that this is the Epic Games Store version, if you are cracked on, I don't know uh, the process of that one, uh, I think the same process will apply to the cracked version too, but I can't say for sure, like you try the mod and you tell me if it works or not. So yeah guys, I'm, I'm gonna mute the mic and play the game like 1 to 2 minutes to show you the FPS boost. So enjoy, I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, this should work. Alright. This is Commander Rourke. I want the site secured ASAP. When Dr. Dominguez arrives, we all go in together. Looking at that cave. 